Hello. Now, let us discuss about the compound interest. The compound interest is the interest added to the principal of a deposit or loan so that the added interest also earns the interest. Let us see some important facts and formulas. Let P be the principal, R be the rate in inter per R be the rate in percentage per annum and N is the time in years. Then when the interest is compounded annually, then A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. Similarly, when the interest is compounded off yearly, then the amount A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 2 by 100 whole power 2N. Similarly, when the interest is compounded quarterly, then the amount A will be A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 4 whole divided by 100 whole power 4N. And the simple interest I is equal to P into N into R by 100. The compound interest is the interest paid not only on the principal but also on the interest that has already been earned. The formula for compound interest is given here which is A is equal to P into 1 plus R by N whole power N into T whereas A is the final value of the amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest and T is the total number of years and N is the number of compounding periods per year. Here the table shows some common compounding periods and how many times per year the interest is to be paid for them. If the compounding period is annually, then the interest has to be paid one time per year. And the formula is A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. If the compounding interest is semi-annual, then we need to pay two times of interest per year. And the formula is amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 2 divided by 100 whole power 2N. If the compounding period is quarterly, the interest to be paid is 4 times per year. And the formula is A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 4 whole divided by 100 whole power 4 into N. And if the compounding period is monthly, the interest to be paid is 12 times per year and the formula is amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 12 whole divided by 100 whole power 12 into N. So the general formula for the compound interest is A is equal to P into 1 plus R by N whole power N into T. Now, let us see some example problems on compound interest. The given problem is, the compound interest on Rs 30,000 at 7% per annum is, is Rs 4,347. So the question is, we need to find the periods in years. So the options given are, option A is 3 years, option B is 5 years, option C is 2 years and option D is 9 years. Let us see the solution for this problem. So it is clear from the given question, the principal amount P is 30,000 rupees and the rate of interest R is 7 percentage and the interest amount is rupees 4347 which implies the total amount A is equal to the principal amount plus the interest amount which is equal to 
rupees 30000 plus 4347 which implies rupees 34347 therefore the total amount a is equal to rupees 3000 sorry 34347 let the time be n years so substituting the known value in the equation that is in the formula a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n we get 30000 is into 1 plus 7 by 100 whole power n is equal to 34347 on solving this equation we get 100 plus 7 by 100 whole power n is equal to 34347 divided by 30,000 which implies 107 by 100 whole power n is equal to 11,449 divided by 10,000 since the square root of 11,449 is 107 and the square root of 10,000 is 100 so taking square root for the this value we get 107 by 100 whole square since the LHS is equal to the RHS so cancelling both the things we get n is equal to 2 therefore the option C 2 years is the answer